Global warming is threatening life on the planet, and many scientists believe human factors are to blame, such as greenhouse gas emissions from power generation and combustion of fossil materials, including petrol and diesel cars. Hydrogen cars, using fuel cells to power them, are seen as a possible solution. Major motor companies are investing heavily in this technology. However, the supply of hydrogen is less well defined. Hydrogen of the required purity can be produced by the electrolysis of water, but this requires lots of electrical energy. Waste oils, biomass and other problem materials present disposal dilemmas. Burning them in the air can cause pollution unless it's carefully controlled. Incineration plants, which recover the heat and use it to generate electricity, are one option. Air-fed gasification and pyrolysis are similar processes. However, air contains 79% nitrogen, and this leads to two drawbacks. Firstly, the speed and extent of oxidation are restricted. And secondly, the capture of the exhausted carbon dioxide is difficult. The use of oxygen overcomes these difficulties, but introduces new ones, such as the high cost of providing the oxygen, and the hazards of storing and handling it. Let me introduce you to Oxygen. Just imagine if you could power your car's hydrogen fuel cell from waste hydrocarbons, such as old engine oil. And also imagine that the carbon dioxide produced could be captured easily for long-term storage instead of entering the atmosphere. Our patented innovation generates power in a highly efficient way using fuel cells and can easily be set up to avoid greenhouse gas emissions. It also produces high-purity hydrogen, which could be used to fuel the next generation of vehicles. Crucially, the oxygen is produced within the process, and so the normal risks entailed are greatly reduced. So, oxygen solves a whole range of problems in one go. The oxygen produced by electrolysis allows us to gasify the waste hydrocarbons and produce synthesis gas that can then power a fuel cell yielding only water and carbon dioxide, which can then be captured for storage. Oxygen can be used in various commercial markets. Disposal of waste motor oil, disposal of oil spills, distributed power generation, distributed hydrogen production, and possible large-scale power, such as power stations. Investment is needed to produce a fully working, scalable prototype production unit. It'll take 24 months to build and implement the technology at a cost of £600,000. After the successful implementation, we expect to generate a million pounds in profit after three years from the licensing of the technology we would expect the profit to increase to £10 million after year five. Please get in touch for more information and our business plan. Oxygen. Working for a better future.